Hey guys, this is Chaney180, and today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Collectibles DC Bombshells Batwoman figure. Initial impressions of the figure, I dig it. I like all these figures. They're all good. You should go out and buy them all right now. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the figure here. We've got a uh, kind of like an airbrush look to give the illusion of shade for the hat. Got a decent sculpt there on the hat. Got a real glossy kind of candy apple paint there. Same thing with the uh, bat signal on the front. Got a little bit of bleeding on that paint there into the collar. Belt buckle and belt is shiny as well. The gloves are also shiny. On the back it says Gotham Knights 52. Obviously, obviously referring to the new 52. Possibly. I could be wrong. If I am, let me know. We've got these nicely sculpted socks and boots or shoes here, which look nice. You know, I mean, she looks like she, uh, for the most part, got her uh, costume done by uh, League of Their Own almost. So, looks really nice. Decent figure. There's a couple issues I had with it, and we'll get into that right now. So, she comes with seven hands total, uh, two which are here and on almost every single one because of the the paint all of these pegs the joint was fused so I had to heat them up and they have been constantly shedding paint off of the joint since then you also get this baseball which fits in the hand very nicely there as you can see and there's a little bit of paint on my finger there We also get two fisted hands, so she can take out crime. We get this uh, glove, which is cool. It also, you can pop the baseball in there. Doesn't fall out, looks nice. Decent sculpt on it. Looks worn and old, like it's been used. So that's cool. Now on to uh, the two hands which are able to hold the bat and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't it's a little bit loose I want to say the scale is a little bit off on this bat um, You know it could have been bigger in my opinion. I don't know. Let me know if you guys agree So on the bat here, we've got a uh, Decent paint there to make it look wooden got a good sculpt on the grip there with decent paint as well we have Batwoman on there, little play on words. And we also have a bat symbol at the end of the bat, which is really nice. Now, articulation of the figure, head goes up about that much. Goes down, you've got quite a bit of pivot in there, left to right. That's about as far as you can turn or right without moving up or down. Left, you got plenty of room. Now the arms go up about that far. You get a bicep swivel, magical double hinge elbows, a swivel at the wrist with a hinge, and that comes with all of them. Now the top torso joint here, actually you get some you know ab crunch in there, which is cool. And then you also have this kind of ab crunch that's built in down here as well, I believe. Let's see. I'm curious. I haven't looked yet. Just want to see if it's the same all the way around. And as you can see, it's a fairly soft plastic. And yes, we do get that ab crunch in there, as you can see. So it does move back and forth, and you do get a little bit extra on this top joint. So it moves back and forth here, and then as well down here. Just to try and make up for the skirt. I can see where they did that and why they did that. You also get a decent amount of pivot there as well. Now the hips have that drop down as well. As you can see. And the legs go out about that far. Forward. You can push it. And it does hold for the most part. So that's cool. Uh, back is about that far. And we have a thigh swivel, double hinge knee, ankle hinge, 
and the ankle pivot is a little off a little wonky it's almost like the pin is going down almost straight because when you pivot it it's almost like a straight pivot it's not like you know I'm used to where the pin goes in at an angle so you could turn it it's still at an angle but it's just not the angle that I'm used to so it kind of throws me off when it comes to posing uh, all in all, I you know, like I said, I I would recommend these figures. I like them. They are cool. Um, in size comparison, Wonder Woman towers over the rest of them. And she should. She's bigger. She's an Amazon. Uh, Ivy, we're not even going to try and stand her. And and we have Harley, right there. So that about wraps it up, guys, for the DC bombshells. Like I said, I dig the line. I think uh, you should check them out. Thanks for watching my video. Feel free to click like, click subscribe, and leave me a comment. Take it easy.